County lines has become a big subject over the past few years in the media. And a lot of people remember that this has been going on for many, many years. It's only since in 2015 the Modern Slavery Act came into effect where they started to deem children that were being sent to the countryside to sell drugs as being victims of modern slavery. It's a, it's a drug dealing telephone number that inherently sits out of our county, so mostly in London, Liverpool, um, Manchester, Wolverhampton, somewhere like that. The, the end user down here, so the drug addict, will ring a county line. County line will then use a different phone, phone into his drug runner in the city, and then those two will connect. So the, the runner and the drug user will never exchange phone numbers. Over the years, this has been very popular, and sometimes children would be sent there, and they would be very comfortable. They would be living in probably not the best conditions, but it wouldn't be what they would ever deem as being slavery. But in recent years, due to the modern slavery implementation, this has now resulted in a lot of people going to prison due to this. And in drill rap music, it's very popular to discuss the drugs that they sell and also the country, county lines and of course the fact that they have other people that sell drugs for them and in the case this week a drill rapper has been convicted using evidence from his rap music video where he talks about using young children to take part in county lines and the police said the child was living in squalor for almost two weeks <laughs> Benson was a drill rapper. He released a song under the name of Push Weight Bandit. And in the song, he depicts using young children to go and sell drugs for him. During the case, they said that he promised the boy £2,800 for the two weeks of work, but the money was never paid. An investigation was initially launched when the boy's parents reported him missing to the Metropolitan Police. The Operation Raptor team was able to locate the boy by linking his phone to the drug line that was already under investigation in Clacton. Benson was arrested in a joint operation on the 24th of March 2022 and he was questioned in concern of being in supply of Class A drugs. Further work and evidence from the music video that he published online was able to identify him as the performer and they said that he was sending a young boy to sell drugs and this formed part of the prosecution. A second male, Ryan Arrowsmith, was also identified as being concerned in the supply of drugs. Arrowsmith was responsible for sending out messages, advertising fat deals, 2 for 15, 3 for 25 and freebies for new customers. Ryan was arrested in March 2022 after a warrant was executed on his home. During a search of his home, police found him trying to flush drugs down the toilet in an attempt to destroy evidence. In total, they found £2,000 worth of drugs that were seized. Benson was charged with being in supply of Class A drugs and also human trafficking. Ryan Arrowsmith was charged in supply of cocaine. They both admitted the offences at Chelmsford Crown Court on the 25th of November and they were sentenced this week on the 13th of March. Both of them were given five years and seven months. The detective in charge of the case, James Healy, said County Lines gangs only target vulnerable people and they also target and groom children to carry out their work. This is trafficking and exploitation and nothing less. We are determined to pursue a conviction under the Modern Slavery Act given the impact of Benson's actions on both the young boy and also his family. PC Harley Turner, who led the investigation, said the group's main aim was to try to target young boys and to groom them into this lifestyle. It was very common that they would become members of the group. They promised them a life of money and also designer clothes. And sadly, the children saw it as a reality and it was just a promise that was always going to be broken. At the end of 2021, there were 12,700 potential victims of modern slavery since the act came into effect in 2015. 43% of them were children, and this means that 5,400 potential child victims were involved in child trafficking last year. This has also raised a lot of questions in relation to the UK government's recent bill that is dubbed the Small Boats Bill, which will basically stop people from having protection under modern slavery if they come into the country illegally. This would mean that a lot of children will be trafficked to cannabis factories across the country. And I've covered these stories on the channel before when I went inside a cannabis factory in Birmingham and a 16-year-old Vietnamese boy was living inside. And this boy would not be protected if this bill goes through. And this is also meant to be in breach of the UK's obligation under international law to protect refugees. The justification the government said 
is they claim people are gaming the modern slavery system. The claim is very worrying. The Office of National Statistics says there's no evidence to support this. In this new bill, the way it will affect modern slavery, it says, is that the UK government led by Theresa May introduced the Modern Slavery Act in 2015. This is to enhance and support and protect victims of slavery. It was the first of its kind in Europe and it specifically addressed trafficking in the 21st century. This bill will seek to radically undermine these protections. The duty to remove and the power to detain under the bill apply equally to victims of modern slavery and also trafficking. This appears to be the case even if the individuals are forced to arrive or enter the UK illegally due to modern slavery. The only exception is where the victim is cooperating with the police in an investigation or criminal proceedings. This would also bypass Article 13 of the European Convention Against Trafficking, which allows victims of slavery to have a recovery period where they're not moved about for up to 30 days. But the UK government says that they have no obligation to victims of so I think this story is really interesting, raises a lot of questions and also conversation. I really want to hear what people have to say. And please don't forget to send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com. Drill music, you've probably seen. Gang-related music, I would call it. It basically talks about stabbing people, shooting people. But you'll see there's always big wads of cash and talk about, you know, selling on the streets. They get offered a layer of protection initially. They get pulled into a, a, a cool place to be and just an identity really. They're still victims, you know, they may not know they're victims, which I think is an important thing around certainly modern slavery and exploitation. You know, they might be given a nice pair of trainers worth a hundred pound, but then they might have to work to pay off like a thousand pound to pay those, you know, to pay that for that pair of trainers. So they don't see themselves as victims probably 99% of the time. I think it soon goes quite quickly wrong for them because they end up coming to places like Brighton, get put into homes of drug users, so really poor, unclean houses, rooms, where they're asked to sleep, cook drugs up and then get out and sell them all hours of the night. They can be beaten, they're forced to carry drugs, they're forced to hide drugs, they're forced to carry weapons to protect the commodity and the cash and going out and meeting those end users of that, that commodity. So really put themselves in a, you know, in a, in a dangerous position.